What's up everybody? Welcome back to a new Hush Life vlog. It's been a wild, wild week for pretty much everybody here at Hush and we have been uh, split up as we usually are, dividing and conquering on different hunts, capturing as much video as we can for you guys for the hunting season. So personally, I've been out in Colorado with uh, our new cameraman, Brayden. You guys will see him in some of the footage from Colorado, but we've been out chasing elk with a bow on the over-the-counter tag, and let me tell you what, it's been tough. Um, if you guys remember last year, I tried this hunt with Matt. We had two close calls. I missed an opportunity, I missed a shot, and then I didn't shoot out of the tree saddle and had a really close call. Um, so I'm back there for redemption, trying to do the whole five for five in five states. I knew this one would potentially be the hardest, and it has proven to be so. Um, so before I show you a couple goodies that we just added, or that we will be adding to the Hush store, this one is added. Let me uh, show you some footage from Colorado from the elk hunt. Enjoy this, and then when we come back, I'll show you guys the new stuff. So enjoy Colorado, guys. All right, guys, we are in Colorado, so welcome to Colorado. This is gonna be my first elk hunt, first hunt close to home anyways got back from Alaska regrouped and packed all the gear needed for archery elk hunting in Colorado so if you guys remember I did this hunt last year and got my butt kicked I spent like 18 days out here and had two opportunities didn't make it happen so I've always wanted redemption on this place so we're back on the same mountain but we're gonna start out with a little breakfast skillet from uh, peak refuel I'm gonna boil some water right here in the camp chef and then we're just gonna pack our bags and do like a backcountry style hunt. So a couple things we're, we're gonna be using for strategy this time is calling, just running gun on the ground, and then sitting water holes with the uh, tethered tree saddle. So it's gonna be a fun hunt, guys. This is number one of five for me on my quest for five for five, which is five elk in five states. We're gonna bring you guys along. It's gonna be a fun one. And uh, let's get some food, pack up, and get in there. guys after uh, I think a little over six miles and I don't know two hours and 15 minutes we made it to where we're camping and we made it um, up here and met up with my buddy Charles so I met him here last year so he was hunting on horseback and I was on foot and we exchanged numbers and he pointed us to a direction of where he's seen some nice bulls on water so I think tonight Braden and I are gonna go set the tree saddle and just kind of stay put until we hear things or you know, hopefully see something. All right, guys, it's 4.30 and we're in the tethered tree saddles. So we're in this dead old aspen tree. Hopefully it holds up. But we got the bow. Nice little seat below us. Just need one bull to come in, that's it. Within shooting range, so looks like 20 to 45 if they come out. So we're gonna just sit here and be patient and uh, see if they start calling tonight. Or well, we're just gonna sit and wait, man. Hopefully something comes in. Don't shake the tree. This thing is sketchy right here, so wish us luck. The joys of going after a bull you think bedded, and uh, maybe he didn't, so it's like eerie quiet tonight. It's crazy. No bugles. We came up on this little bull and some cows. 
and the Cal 71. <laughs> but it wasn't our bull, so we kind of backed out. Anyways, he's not anywhere near here. I'm just trying to get to the top of these pines. So we can camp up there tonight and hopefully be in some bugles tomorrow morning. Yeah, it really is. Alright. Let's figure out where he's at. Face crushed by Braden. <laughs> that, I don't even know if that count as a point. That might be... Just a three. It's got a five inch brow time. <laughs> but it's kind of a freak, so the other side could have been normal. Look at that goofy sucker. Up here in the... The woods, and that's last year's shed. Dude, we're in the zone. <laughs> Maybe we should just be shed, be shed hunters. I'm a lot better at that. <laughs> Sweet find, dude. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Well, one bugle in the distance, but he's not in the direction we're headed, so it's going to keep pushing and keep calling, picking up sheds. All right, so as you can see, uh, pretty tough country to hunt. That's mostly the problem is the terrain is just so thick and so brushy. But uh, we're going to go out again this coming week and get after it. But let me show you a couple things that we're working on in the hush store. I just picked these up from the warehouse. So a couple things we have is a sun shirt sample. This is our third run at samples. Let me tell you what, guys, working with the manufacturer back and forth and getting details correct, length, Material, logo placement, all correct is just, uh, it's a lot of work and unfortunately because it's so far away, uh, it just takes a lot of time. So sun shirts should be on our website in the springtime. Let me show you the most recent sample real quick. All right, this is the gray color option. I think we're getting uh, three colorways in this. So we added a little button on the hood. It allows you to cross it over just to protect from the sun. We did a logo placement on the hood. We got a little fireball. Um, hush logo right there. We've hit it in the bottom left corner with a woven label So yeah, excellent length. This is a size large The material is my favorite so soft. So a little bit of a swoop in the back just to give some extra length You got the thumb holes and again, this is going to be a great fishing shirt Heck I might wear it. Uh, shed hunting. You got the hood You got the full-length arms. Yeah so these will be out next uh, spring on the store. Okay, next up is the Hunter Orange uh, Hush Flannel. So if you guys are familiar with the store, we have red, we have green, gray, and, and like a brownish uh, buffalo pattern flannels. We decided to sample these last year in Hunter Orange. As you guys know, many rifle hunts in many states require a certain amount of cubic inches of Hunter Orange, and this should be more than enough. So I wore this in Colorado last year. Uh, killed a nice buck in it. Um, it's just perfect for that daytime hiking. And again, you got the stretch, so it makes it super comfortable. Um, we hit it with the Hush logo on the pocket. You got an embroidered tag. You got the punchline. You only get so many opening days. And of course, the, the buttons are even custom with Hush Hunt Fish. So these are on the website, guys. Right now, they're live at GetHushin.com. It's that time of the year, the rifle hunts are coming quick, so make sure you go to the website to check that out. Really appreciate the support on the store. Um, as you guys know, we did a mule deer hunt giveaway, and the hunt winner is super excited. We've been chatting back and forth on Instagram. So we'll be going up to the R&K to hunt mule deer um, October 9th through the 12th, and we'll be looking for a big buck for him, so I'm excited for that. But yeah, that's kind of it for me. The guys have been um, also hunting elk with a bow. BMAC had the tag. Those guys got some awesome footage, I'm sure of that. And so hopefully they have some stuff to share with you guys so you guys can get caught up on what's going on with them. But that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed a little plug from Colorado. And again, thanks for the support on the store. We'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs> Buenos dias, senor, si senoritas. Um, I'm sitting like this because I injured my back. Tell me what happened. I don't even have pictures of what happened, but yesterday my father-in-law stopped by to say hello. He was pulling his fifth wheel trailer and they went to leave and he dropped two of the tires off the pavement onto my lawn. It had just been watered and sunk and got stuck and we had to jack up his trailer. Anyway, long story short, he had another trailer on the back of his fifth wheel for his side-by-side. -side. 
and we had unhooked that to get him unstuck stuck and then in my head uh, he was trying to back up to the trailer and he was just off and was like i'll just pick it up and move it and i had a side by side in the trailer and i tore something in my back everybody right now go and leave a comment saying get what get get better case get better hoping to go do a little archery elk hunting this week i don't know if that's gonna happen or not anyway guys uh just wanted to tell you real quick how we're gonna release this season this year you, if you followed us in the years past you know that we've done best season yet one best season yet two bsy three bsy four uh we wanted to showcase a little different this year you know we've had a lot of feedback over the years of people love the day-to-day -day stuff day-by-day -day stuff some people don't love it um we kind of want to get back to our roots if you look at our youtube channel or what we did was looked at our youtube channel and the videos that get the most views are like our movie premieres so that's where we take go on a hunt and take all that footage from that one hunt and make a one movie with it and so we're gonna do that this year all the hunts that we, we go on, we've got three under our cap so far. We've been on three hunts so f this year, All right? bangers. Probably four, because one's going to be two. One, I'm just saying, we've been on three hunts total. Mm -hmm. Went to Nevada, archery deer, went to Alaska, and did caribou. And now we just got back from Arizona elk hunting. So Alaska might be two parts, but it's going to be, you know, everything mm -hmm. else is going to be like one, one really cool video. Uh, the camera guys are stoked on it. Uh, I'm excited about it. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it and it's just gonna be a little bit different than what we've done in the past and uh, Let us know though in the comments down below. We love hearing your guys' feedback. We change things up So hopefully you guys have a better viewing experience at home. I want to get my input on this real quick um, Are you trying to hand me the camera? Yeah. Got to hold it zoom in. Give me a zoom. So you guys basically what we're gonna do this year. This is breaking news um, Get excited. It's gonna I feel like you're really tight just no, dude, I can see your eyes and mouth. <laughs> That's it. So what we've done in the past is we've had projects. You guys have seen like best season yet, one, two, three, and four, like Casey said. But what we're gonna do this year is each hunt is gonna be its own project. So longer paced videos, one video a week. We still haven't decided the day. These aren't gonna start dropping until a little bit later, so don't get too stressed right now. But each hunt is gonna be its own project. It's gonna have a trailer that releases before it goes live on a day. That video goes live and it's gonna be once a week going through all of our hunts. I think when we added it up, we have 23 tags this year. So a lot of stuff coming up. Um, let us, like Casey said, let us know if you like that idea more or less. We're not gonna exclude any of the things that make us us. The joking, the cooking, all of that stuff's gonna be in there. It's just gonna be a lot more digestible. So when you're out on hunts of your own, you get home, you don't have six or seven videos to watch. You have one video of that hunt that you can sit down with your family and watch on your smart TV or by yourself on your phone, however you guys view your media. That's what we're gonna be doing this year. Get stoked. We, they're bangers, right? The first ones we've got are bangers so far. Hopefully we can keep that stride. So I for one am stoked. That's what I'm adding. And I'm gonna film Casey again now. That's all I have. You want more zoom? Give me the zoom, dude. Oh, podcast goes up. So this goes up today on Monday. We have a podcast going up this Wednesday at, I just scheduled it for 5 a.m. Um, it's me, Casey, Brian, and Matt on our first archery elk hunt of this year. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss that. So Wednesday, that's going live on YouTube and all major podcast platforms. And that's my story, I'm sticking to it. No, that's it. Um, not a super entertaining vlog, but just a little informational for you. Uh, we got, like Logie said, we have three, our first three hunts have just worked out to be really exceptional so far. The footage is insane, um, we'll find some successes, but we still have a lot of, a lot of hunting left to do. A uh, couple more weeks left in September. If you're out in the Elk Woods or headed out there, good luck to you. Shoot straight, kill a bull. Yeah, but we have a lot of hunts coming up. We're not even touching the quarter mark yet. Yeah, we haven't <laughs> not even a quarter through this thing yet. So anyway, guys, good luck this fall. Thanks. Remember, you only get so many opening days. Just go take uh, advantage of those and make the most of them. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Send, send, send it over to Maddie. I gotta come on, no, come here. The, the kid, kids that, that are cool do this. Send it over to Maddie. Bam. All right, guys. What is going on? Maddie Ice here. We just got back from a trip down south chasing elk for the last 10, 11 days with BMAC. He was the tag holder. So it was Casey, Logan, myself, and BMAC down there. But just getting back and uh, throwing all my gears just scattered right now. So I thought it would be a good time to show you kind of a mid season update of the camera gear that I was running on this trip. And uh, Braden is currently filming on one of my new favorite lenses. It's a 35, or 
that one's a 55 millimeter prime. And uh, then I have this lens that I've been rocking quite a bit. This is an 18 to 200. And this is actually a crop sensor lens on a full frame body. So it's more like a 20 to 210 millimeter uh, lens. So I like it because how compact it is and my focal range. And uh, it actually takes really sharp images too. So that's something new I'm rocking. And then my same body, my Sony a7 IV. And then I always have a GoPro of some sort. This trip we had it on a clamp. Uh, Casey and I were staying back and calling a lot of time. So I'd set like this GoPro, clip it to a tree, point it at me or Casey. And then I'd set this up on a tripod or a monopod, point it at myself. Another camera I used quite a bit is my Sony ZV-1, my little vlog type camera. This thing's pretty sweet for how compact it is. Has a beefed up internal mic. This is the number one starter camera I would recommend to anybody who's just wanting to try and get into filming outdoor stuff. Um, I did run my gimbal a lot this trip. It's kind of a pain to turn it on and get shots and it's very delicate. Water, dust, anything can mess it up pretty easily. But this is a Weeble 2 gimbal and it works flipping awesome for super buttery B-roll shots or we're doing a lot of run and gun. So when we're running and hiking, this really stabilized the footage, made it a lot more pleasing to the eye. Um, last but not least, piece of gear. It's actually something I'm using right now. It's the new DJI lav mics. So they come in a cool kit like this. I have one on right now. You probably can barely see it. And Braden's got the receiver on his camera monitoring the audio. So that works really well when, uh, let's say the shooter is 50 yards in front of me, the caller, I can pick up the audio perfectly of what he's seeing and hearing. And it really just adds a more um, immersive type of experience for you as the viewer but that's kind of the gear we were running I did want to show you one new piece of electronics we did get and uh, super stoked about these so as all of you know I love to ice fish and uh, we actually got some stuff from Dakota lithium this week so this is a huge power box and uh, it's got all these USBs and then a couple uh, wall outlets here on the side so I charge my laptop my cell phone my watch cameras everything from base camp off of this thing and it worked so well like I don't even think it's at like it's still probably at like 95% it's nothing for that you're supposed to be able to jump your truck like a thousand times off of that too and then the more portable option is their little Dakota lithium power box this thing's pretty cool because it's got lights on the side that if you're setting up your tent or whatever you can crank this light on um, it's got a cigarette lighter up here on the top USB and USB type C on the top as well and then it's got a couple little a positive and a negative post up here at the top this will be awesome for ice fishing I can throw my ice ice fishing fish finder on here and have a sweet little portable setup it's just got a lithium 12 volt battery inside there it's just killer. Very lightweight. You could charge your cell phone like 50 times off of this thing compared to your standard power brick. But that's all I got for this week. Headed out in the morning. I have three days left. Utah archery elk hunt. Gonna go try and kill a bull with my bow before BMAC and I head out on another elk hunt. So hope you guys enjoyed my portion of the vlog and I'm gonna send it over to the next guy. Peace.